Hey there, and welcome back to another video. In this one, I'll be showing you guys how to make a topographic map in Blender, the 3D modeling and animation program. So today, we're going to see how to create these topographic lines from any 3D shape. So I'll show you how to do that first on a simple terrain, but this method can be applied to any mesh that you're currently using. So firstly, I'll be using the landscape add-on that is built into every version of Blender. If you want to follow along, head to the preferences and enable the add-on. Or simply use any mesh you want to if you have something to work on already. So I'll be adding a terrain from the samples and just leave it as is. And then the next thing we need to do is to add a plane and maybe switch to wireframe mode for a better preview. After that, let us copy the plane along the z-axis using the array modifier. So select the plane, add the array modifier to it, and put the modifier at the constant type rather than the relative. And then in the distance value, change the z-axis to any amount that you see fit. And then just simply increase the count until you cover the entire mesh. One thing to pay attention to is the plane's scale. Just try to match it with the mesh area as much as possible. And don't make it too big or too small. And then for the next step, we'll be using the boolean modifier on the mesh terrain that we currently have. I'd recommend to make a copy of your mesh before you do this. And then once you add the boolean modifier to the terrain, put it on intersect mode. You can read the difference between each type of the boolean modifier by the way. And then, you can also put it on a fast solver since we need only simple lines and not details. And now for the intersecting object, just choose the array. So you should go now and apply the array modifier, and then assign the plane copies in the boolean object. And there you have it. If we hide the planes, you can see the contour lines. And then with this, we can proceed to convert it into curves, then add some depth to it with the curve geometry settings. Oh, by the way, before you render this, you can enter edit mode and clean any extra vertices that you don't need. Once you're done with all of that, place a camera in the scene and maybe use some light with it or use an emission material to let things in the scene. And then just render it normally. For some additional information, a similar method to this can be used in making parametric furniture. And then now, at the end, you can also go the other way and make topography lines into a mesh by using the loft tool, the shrink wrap modifier, or use the OSM add-on. And that's really all there is to using this method to make topographic map lines in Blender. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to like this video if you feel like you learned something new. And if you enjoy content like this, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching again and we'll see you guys in the next one.